wondering if you could explain the title, Colour Is My Voice. Yeah, but... Explain yeah. why you chose that title. Yeah, yeah. I chose that because I cannot speak very well at all, but colours say it for me. If I am at peace, then it is yellows and blues and light greens but if I am angry it is black and red and deep colours like that. Welcome everyone to International Day for People with a Disability. It's the United Nations uh, International Day of Celebration and it's, it's aimed to promote understanding um, and an inclusive uh, behaviour towards people living with a disability and to bring those thoughts foremost in our, in our plans and strategies at Council. Um, and the overarching theme for today is break barriers and open doors. And if you notice, there's a few doors around, which I think is the first time Peter's been working on doors, but it may set a trend for him into the future. So if your door turns up all painted, we know who to come to. But... <laughs> so break barriers and open doors to recognise and realise an inclusive society for all. Lofty aims, and we're here tonight, I guess, as, as a step towards that direction. And I'd love to introduce the exhibition tonight, Colours My Voice, by Peter Rowe. I'd like to introduce the first guest speaker for tonight, Ross Barber. Uh, I'm going to throw away my 42-page essay on arts and disability. I don't think we have the time. Uh, but I would like to tell a story. And the story was about the small uh, but significant meeting that I first had with Peter. I said, what would you like to do? I'd like to see you in the program somehow. And Peter said that he would like to be able to illustrate his own books. And you can all see the result of those illustrations now. He started painting. And those first paintings of Peter's, it turns out, shook the whole care world. Because what Peter showed in those paintings was an extraordinary way that people were being treated in a particular situation. He expressed something so powerful and after 10 years he has just touched all of us in particular ways. So I'd say if you can buy a painting and love it because his paintings are really worth the time and effort that you will spend looking at them. So thank you very much. I met Peter um, probably about four years ago um, through uh, a program called Art from the Margins, and this is a program run by Wesley Mission in Brisbane. Uh, what inspires me about uh, Art from the Margins is that we see people with impairments, but they overcome their impairments, 
and their disability is reduced. And I think we see a fine example of this in Peter, in that he has you know, quite a significant impairment, but he lives life to the full. And he really gets, he faces you know, life and in, in all its reality. And you can see the impact around these walls of his attitude to life and his desire and lust for life. And I think that is a wonderful lesson to all of us, Peter. Peter, I want to thank you for your art, thank you for this exhibition, and thank you for showing us how to live life fully. Uh, an insight into local arts, local culture, um, and local abilities. Uh, MP Peter Mollington to officially open the exhibition tonight. Thanks, Ross. Um, right around our universe, there are gatherings of people saying, we're so proud of what people with disabilities have been able to show us, to inspire us all what we can really do if we try. Also acknowledging the role of council in, a, in enabling Peter to put on this exhibit today. We all have a role to play, no matter how small or how insignificant we might think it is, but we all have a role to play. And I really think the mere fact you have all taken the time to be here tonight at this official opening, you care. And I think that's the message that we need to spread out across not just Queensland and Australia but through the universe. We all care and we all can play an important part. So Peter, without further ado, can I say it's great to be here to officially open your art exhibition. Congratulations. Well done. overwhelmed by what has been said about me. I am really just doing what I love to do. Thank God I was given the chance to learn facilitated communication. Without it, I am unable to paint, to write, to live really and I thank God and Rosemary Crosley and Jane Remington that they discovered and allowed me to learn this. Thank you for coming here tonight. I am overawed by the work that has gone into this exhibition by Kathy and her helpers.